Hey everybody, giving you a little behind the scenes, I guess you would say. Most of that stuff that you just saw is usually things that I have finished before I actually make soap. I um, mean, I guess this time I actually did make soap, which is here. Um, but this soap is a little bit different because I'm using it as a binding agent for this larger soap, which I'm going to be making in this Pringles can today. So beginning of this soap is me taking this soap that I made a while ago and I cut it up and then I'm going to dip these into this soap which is 100% coconut oil and then I'm going to use that in order to stick these to the side like that and it's going to go all the way up and down. idea one but I have to freeze it in order for it to kind of get as solid as I need it as quick as I need it because I don't want this to go on forever. <laughs> once I'm done this last row and get the other soap ready. You might have noticed in the speed shots you've been watching that I, <laughs> this, some of this I made too, way too much. So I made these little embeds in this ice tray for an upcoming soap. So I guess sneak peek on that one guys. And I'm just going to finish this up. It's Liberty Bird Soaps. Um, my name is Haley. Today we are making a soap in a Pringles can. Um, it is all going to be one color, so it's going to be a green soap. Here are my oils. In here is olive oil, coconut oil, shea butter, a Crisco, and canola. So they're all in here. They are all melted. Um, and then I have my lye water solution all mixed up here. So I'm going to take my stick blender, now this stick blender I got for $1.25 off of eBay, so it's definitely not the nicest stick blender ever. So pour in the lye water into my oils.
so far. It's all pretty mixed up. It's at a, I don't know, pretty thin trace. So I'm going to continue to color and with the color we're going to be pulsing it some more so I don't want it to get too thin quite yet. Alright so for my colors I am I want this to be green so I'm doing a couple of different things. I'll show you all of my options and how I'm going to start. <laughs> so first I have a sea green mica powder. Now this is pretty blue when I look at it in terms of green. It's not like a forest green. Then I also have green liquid colorants that I picked up at like a local craft store. I have a sunflower lab color in here. And then I have a Brandy's Blue Mica powder. So I'm going to start with a little bit of the green. So I want it to be kind of a pale green, so I don't want it to use too much. So look at that. Alright, so I'm going to pulse it. If that how that shows up for you guys but it's I think of it as a mint all right so I'm gonna I want it to be a little darker so I'm gonna add a little bit of this brandy's so I'd say I did like one part blue to two parts of that green so just a little bit of blue in there showing up for you guys but if you had seen that last one it was a little minty this one is a little bit more of a teal color so from there the next step so this is the sunflower lab color by brambleberry this is gonna go in next. <laughs> one part brandy's blue mica and then I did two pipettes I'm not sure how much these are three mls two of those in there so what I got is I don't know <laughs> you might think it's the same color that I started with but I think of it as a has a bit more of a blue to it with kind of a yellow highlight so 
that is my green. So I'm going to go grab my Pringles can, which I think should be ready. So, container is ready. I'm going to replace the container with this. So, I'm going to do this and then I'll show you the end result. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pour this right into here. And I definitely need way more soap than I needed. find some other things to put soap in. <laughs> so there it is. I'm going to see if I can show you guys. I've put the green in there with the little soaps that I put in earlier. I'm going to fill this right to the top. Oh my goodness, look at how much extra soap I have. Alright, tap this down a little bit. Alright, so I'm tapping down the Pringles can to get all of the air out. And then what ends up happening is all the bubbles come to the top. And then you squirt it with a little rubbing alcohol. And it takes them away. So, that is the end of the soap there. What will happen is I will cut it tomorrow. Because what it's going to do is it's going to harden. The nice about using this lovely Pringles can here <laughs> is that um, I can just tear it off. I don't have to save it. And it makes a beautifully round bar of soap. If you happen to be on Facebook, you can check out Isn't It Dandy? The unscented version. And that one is also made in a Pringles can. I'm going to set that over there. Now what we are going to have to do is I need to find some use for this one. here I did already cut one piece and so far I like what I see um, so come on so it didn't turn out quite like I wanted I didn't expect the green to make it all the way to the outside but it did and it's totally fine because the nice thing about soap is it even if it looks a little funky together it usually comes out really really nice once it is cut. Let's check that out. So this is the rim of the Pringles can that I had done. And that's the design it makes. So this is the first time that one of my soaps has done this thing called gel, or at least that I can see where it I did a partial gel, and I'm, you, might, you guys might not even notice it, but the inside of this soap is darker than the outside of the soap. Check it out. 
Ooh, look at that one. It has kind of like a double one. So this must have been where two of the soaps overlapped. Now this soap is unscented, or at least the majority of it is, and I have to check to see if the brown soap might have had scent in it, but the green soap does not have any scent. So the other thing I'm going to show you is, so these were the little ice cube that I made. They actually remind me, what do they remind you of? They remind me of something very specific. So I have a bunch of these that will be used for the top of oops, another soap. I have them in white and then I also have a bunch of green. Oops, there's a ball for something else. <laughs> so the last thing I'm going to show you here, or I'm going to show you these, these are the little bars of soap. We made five of them. One of them I already took out, which sadly has already been destroyed, so I'm not going to show you it. Um, destroyed at no fault of the soaps. Um, totally just the fault of me trying to take it out of the mold a little bit too early. So these are, this green is definitely a very minty green. I probably should have added a little bit more blue to it, but... Still came out lovely. Got a lot of soap made yesterday. Oop, this one being a little too rough here on these soaps. <laughs> So there you are. I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up.